welcome to this update video i really hope you're doing great this morning we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the atlantic and also the eastern pacific so the eastern pacific hurricane season has begun from wednesday on the 15th and there are two disturbances that may try to develop as we head into the next couple of days so first let's kick start things with that here we can see them both one of which uh, is marked we're seeing that x to show the location of that area of low pressure and so there we can see that it is given a 30 percent chance of development through the next seven days meanwhile the second area quite close to it is also given a 30 percent chance and that chance was at 40 percent so it has downgraded a bit by 10 percent so there is some dry air which may interfere with development of these systems but should at least one of these systems manage to become a named storm the first name on the list is aletta so we'll see if they will uh, both develop and the second name is bud so we'll see if we'll get aletta and bud or nothing out of these two systems so let's hop over into the atlantic basin we're seeing a lot of activity moving through parts of the gulf coast states lots of thunderstorms lightning strikes and uh, as for the inner tropical convergence zone is also quite active we're seeing quite a bit of convection offshore french guiana out there as we zoom into the Caribbean, much not really going on, but for parts of the Windward Islands, such as St. Lucia going to uh, St. Vincent, we're seeing a bit of activity around, a bit of thunderstorms as well. So maybe a few showers this morning, but elsewhere it is quite dry and there hasn't been much rain. However, that is likely to change as we head into next week. There's pretty good model agreement about a surge in moisture, which we're going to be talking about in a moment. But for today, let's look at the rainfall activity expected by euro and here we can see not a lot of color around at all so maybe a few passing showers in parts of the bahamas uh, much not expected for the turks and caicos at all it's actually going to be a sunny day today uh cayman islands cuba jamaica hispaniola going to puerto rico the virgin islands and through parts of the lesser antilles there could be a few showers here and there abc islands much not expected at all Northern South America likely to be active, especially as we head into the afternoon. And then going to Central America towards uh, Panama, Costa Rica, parts of Nicaragua, El Salvador, Southern Guatemala, and some spots in Mexico. There could be some heavy rain and thunderstorms that's already happening in some areas. So closer to the Pacific side of Central America, it is more active than the Caribbean side. Areas such as Belize uh, and even Northern Guatemala, the Bay Islands of Honduras, not likely to experience a whole lot of rainfall activity today however that area is likely to be quite windy so let's go on to that wind gusts today just offshore of the yucatan could be up to 40 miles per hour so that's tropical storm force territory with some of those winds and that helps a bit with the heat so there have been some areas in the northern caribbean such as jamaica for example very hot very little rain and the winds are not really strong so the days are just so hot and miserable a lot of us can attest to that and uh, as i said we're going to be having that increase in moisture so there is some hope on the horizon and i want to look at the rainfall forecast for the next several days uh, by both euro and gfs but as it relates to model data now let's go on to that increase in moisture this is what GFS is showing for next Wednesday. So when we're seeing all these shades of greens and even those pots of yellows and oranges popping up, that is indicative of the precipitation rate, the moisture. So as we head into the middle of next week, there we can see that GFS is certainly showing a lot of moisture, a lot of rain in parts of the Caribbean. Eventually, it shows that airflow pressure forming as we head to Thursday of next week, the 23rd of May, and that system eventually moving out the euro model is also showing an increase in moisture as we head into late tuesday of next week the 21st of may there we can see all of that moisture around then as we head into wednesday we see it's still loitering near jamaica uh in parts of the south caribbean and haiti as well and then the icon model is also showing that rainfall around this is as we head into may 22nd next wednesday so there we can see it models are in agreement about that increase in moisture now as it pertains to the GFS's simulated uh, infrared satellite imagery. So this is what the satellite could look like as we head into next week. Let's take a look at it. So as we head into Tuesday, go into Wednesday, we see quite a bit of increase in moisture with that system. And eventually, 
you know, it's going to be moving out. So that is what GFS is showing. We're going to have that southerly flow uh, with all that moisture moving up and out. And I mean, hopefully this comes to fruition because it has been so hot. It has been so dry in many areas. There hasn't been substantial rain. And I don't know if you guys remember, I think it was in April when I was talking about the rainfall forecast for me that some areas would experience below average rain. Jamaica, for example, we've had our periods of heavy rain, but overall this May is not as wet uh, compared to what it you know, usually is. Usually May is very, very wet, but this time around it is a bit drier than usual. So that was actually expected in April. Now, as it pertains to the rainfall totals, this is what Euro is showing. And this goes through Saturday of next week. So between now and Saturday of next week, we're seeing these purple and these pink shadings popping up in parts of the Central Caribbean. So the bulk of the rain is, is likely to be associated with that uh, increase that I talked about going to the mid and latter part of next week. So there could be rainfall amounts in the Caribbean probably exceeding five inches as we head throughout the next couple of days so euro is showing that the bulk of this is going to be near jamaica and uh go into the south caribbean meanwhile the gfs model is expecting that the bulk of rain uh accumulated could be a bit further to the east just south of hispaniola and of course uh through the dominican republic as well we're seeing some of those pink shadings there so probably rainfall amounts a lot higher than what the euro is showing, but it is showing that the bulk of it is going to be remaining offshore. And I mean, there's still quite a bit of time between now and then there's bound to be some model changes. And so that is why I'm here to keep you updated on what is happening. Finally, I want to go a bit anticlimactic. I mean, a lot of us, we don't love the Saharan dust because of how dry it makes the environment and it helps to limit rainfall uh, to some degree as well. So let's look at the forecast. As we're going to be heading through today, another plume of dust is going to be making its way into the Caribbean and blanketing the eastern islands. Eventually to early next week, it'll make its way to areas such as Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, Cuba, and even parts of the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. So there is another massive dust that is about to make its way into the region, guys. And so that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. Again, we've got those two disturbances in the eastern Pacific. Let's see if they'll try to fight the uh, unfavorability of the environment and try to develop into something or at least one of them. But they're both offshore. In the Caribbean, it has been really hot and dry. But that may change as we head into next week with a potential surge in moisture. But of course, for the short term, there's going to be some more dust making its way in to the region and so i hope that you found this video to be very informative but as usual if you have any questions do feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise